guys, I got my new camera set up so you're gonna see more videos that um, have me in them. So they should be less boring to watch when I'm explaining the concept. Um, so this episode, we're diving back into Simple Calendar and we're actually working on compatibility with Rails 5. Now, this is probably something you're gonna run into a bunch and so I wanted to talk about like this specifically is a problem that Simple Calendar has uh, upgrading into Rails 5, but basically like, you know, when you're upgrading to Rails 5, your applications are gonna have similar errors, they're not gonna necessarily have the same problem as mine has, um, but you're gonna run into these things, so how do you go about debugging them and figuring out how to solve those problems? So this episode, we're gonna take a look at the bug that, uh, the uh, one that I have pulled up here that is on GitHub for Simple Calendar, and it sounds like um, from the description, basically, what Simple Calendar is doing for the URLs and the links is causing an issue because we are taking anything in the get uh, request params and we're putting those back into links directly. So those links um, are taking what's in the URL and then we're just taking it and putting into the links for the next and previous calendar. Uh, which is what we need to do because if you have filters or extra things in your URL, we need to be able to just copy those and put them in the links. Themselves. 